certainty is, is, I think, a false goal. I mean, we're not achieving, we're, we're achieving functional certainties in science and in just the, in our in our day-to-day -day lives. I mean, it's a functional certainty that I'm sitting here talking to you, though it's possible I could be dreaming or, you know, deceived by an evil demon. Um, I mean, those kinds of phil philosophical, epistemological worries don't really relate too much to the ordinary practice of science, the very useful practice of science, and our ordinary um, task of just negotiating our lives and finding happiness in this world. Uh, we recognize that there's a, a range, there's a continuum of, you know, I'm not sure, you know, it's a coin toss, 50-50 uh, uh, understanding of a circumstance to being functionally certain uh, about what is so. And many people are pretending to be functionally certain or believe themselves to be functionally certain about things like Jesus is going to come back and judge the world in their lifetime. I mean, 20% of the American population claims to be functionally certain that that is going to come to pass, and 78% think that Jesus is going to come back sometime, not necessarily in their lifetime. Uh, and these certainties do real work for us. I mean, the, the, the person who's certain that uh, the soul enters the zygote at the moment of conception is the person who wants to veto stem cell research uh, despite the fact that tens of millions of people are suffering conditions which, for which stem cell research is the best line of research to generate therapies. So these, these are ideas that are not just of academic interest or personal, private, spiritual relevance. I mean, these are, these are shaping policy. They're shaping a national conversation. And then when you look to the Muslim world, they are causing people to blow themselves up on street corners.